Well, it finally has happened. Spencer Rattler has entered his name into the transfer portal. Ever since he lost his starting job to Caleb Williams earlier this season, Rattler was expected to transfer. He could have done like so many that came before him and decided to enter the transfer portal after losing the job mid-season, but he chose to stick it out. Now, the Monday after the regular season came to an end, he will now be moving on. So let's talk about that. Before we get into where Spencer might transfer, let's give a little background information. Coming out of high school according to 24-7 Sports Composite, Spencer Rattler was a 5-star recruit who was the best pro-style quarterback, best player in Arizona, and 11th best player nationally. He received over 14 different Division I offers from the likes of Alabama, Miami, Notre Dame, Oklahoma, and Texas. Rattler worked with quarterback guru Mike Giovando back in high school. Giovando had a relationship with Oklahoma assistant coach Tim Kish that went way back and decided to give him a call to talk to him about the special player he was working with. Mike called him saying, I've got this freshman, you've really got to come out here and look at this guy. Kish laughed and couldn't believe what his friend was saying, but trusted his judgment. Kish, who had four decades working in college football, went to go visit Pinnacle High School telling the athletic, I'm not lying to you, he can make every throw as a freshman that you think a senior should make. He's that good. He could throw the deep out, the curl, go routes, slants, you name it. He could throw it. Kish brought the intel he collected back to the offensive coordinator, Lincoln Riley, who reacted the same way the way he did to Giovando. Then, Riley watched Rattler's film and was instantly impressed. Riley would call and extend Rattler an offer when he was 14 years old before he ever broke any records or starred in a Netflix show. Rattler would also collect scholarship offers from Arizona State and UCLA throughout his freshman year. Giovando told The Athletic, I don't really promote ninth graders all that much because I know coaches are going to say, ah, uh, no, not yet. But I had enough faith in this kid, so I decided it was the right time to reach out to a few people. Kish developed a strong relationship with Rattler and still stays in touch with him even though he retired in 2018. Rattler would commit to Oklahoma in 2017 right after Riley was named the head coach after Bob Stoops retired and never wavered. He became Oklahoma's first five-star quarterback commit out of high school since Rhett Balmer in 2004. Back in high school, Rattler was not expected to take over the starting quarterback role as a freshman, but when the expected starting quarterback quit the team over the summer, Rattler at 14 years old was thrust into the starting job. Rattler finished his freshman season with 2,300 passing yards, 19 touchdowns and 9 interceptions, while Pinnacle finished a season 4 and 5. Rattler's first level of national exposure came during the first week of his sophomore season. In a game against Basha, which was televised on ESPN, Rattler led his team to a 49-41 win, throwing for over 300 passing yards and 3 touchdowns. Aside from the impressive stats, the most amazing part of the performance was the fact Rattler did it with a broken hand. During his junior year, Pinnacle finished 9-4 and, and Rattler threw for 45 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, and nearly 4,000 passing yards. In three years, Rattler had thrown for 9,000 passing yards, 93 touchdowns, and 30 interceptions. He impressed everyone with pinpoint accuracy and said he used to be compared to Baker Mayfield but a lot more athletic. Before his senior year, Rattler attended the Elite 11 quarterback camp and was named the Elite 11 MVP for his performance. Going into his senior year, Rattler started in Season 3 of QB1 Beyond the Lights, and he also had two goals set for the season, won a state championship and Gatorade Player of the Year. In seven games, Spencer Rattler threw for 1,863 yards, 23 touchdowns and three interceptions, while also rushing for 139 yards and three more touchdowns on the ground, but did not play in Pinnacle's last five games of the season due to being suspended. Rattler finished his high school career with an Arizona record for passing yards with 11,083 passing yards and 116 touchdowns. He also rushed for over 1,000 yards and 14 touchdowns in his high school career. As a freshman at Oklahoma, Rattler threw for 81 yards and one touchdown while backing up Heisman Trophy runner-up Jalen Hurts. In his first year as a starter, Rattler threw for 3,031 yards, 28 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. He went into this year as a Heisman frontrunner and was expected to be the first quarterback taken in the 2022 NFL Draft. Instead, he struggled and was benched during Oklahoma's comeback against Texas in the Red River rivalry. He finished the year throwing for 1,483 yards, 11 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions, but has only thrown a combined 12 passes over the Sooners' last 5 games. Spencer wrote on social media, Sooner Nation, thank you for allowing me to be a student athlete at this prestigious institution. Thank you to every teammate and coach these last three years. We won several games together and made memories that I will cherish forever. Special thanks to my family and friends for your support. Thank God for the game of football. It's the ultimate team sport and brings people and communities together unlike anything else. At this time, I would like to announce that I have decided to enter the transfer portal to continue my academic and athletic career. Thank you again, Oklahoma. I will miss you. I want to pause this video just for a second to ask you, yeah, 
you where you think Spencer Rattler will transfer. Also, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It helps the video do better in the algorithm. Now, let's talk about where Spencer Rattler might transfer. Spencer Rattler is expected to have a lot of suitors, according to 24-7 Sports, from the likes of the Arizona schools to other West Coast schools because he was originally from Arizona. Another interesting team to watch, according to 24-7 Sports, is Ole Miss, who will be looking to replace Matt Corral. Chris Hummer believes the schools in contention are Arizona, Arizona State, LSU, Ole Miss, Oregon, TCU, and Texas A&M. Hummer explains each school. Arizona State, it would be the most natural fit, although Jaden Daniels may complicate things if he doesn't enter the transfer portal himself. Texas A&M, this is more of a connecting the dots inclusion, but why wouldn't Texas A&M attempt to upgrade at quarterback? The Aggies have a championship-worthy roster, but have question marks at quarterback between Haynes King, who's coming off a season-ending injury, and Zach Calzada. Rattler would be an immediate upgrade over both and could lift Texas A&M's ceiling with his accuracy and ability to consistently push the ball downfield. Ole Miss would be his friendliest path to the NFL if they choose to go with Rattler over Gabriel. For Oregon, it would give the Ducks a bridge for a year with Ty Thompson being a freshman. When it comes to LSU, there are talks that Max Johnson may transfer according to Hummer and Rattler would give whoever is head coach a quarterback to build around in year one. It would also give Rattler a schedule to prove himself. For TCU, Hummer writes a bit of a curveball, but Sonny Dykes is bringing a new system to Fort Worth that Max Duggan might not be the best fit for. If Dykes is looking for an immediate upgrade at the position, he could do a lot worse than Rattler. The Horn Frogs have skilled talent, a friendly offensive system, and could potentially provide Rattler a path for a little on-field revenge. Arizona is in the picture just due to their proximity where Rattler grew up. Don't expect Rattler to go to a rebuilding project, though. Wherever he decides to go, he will be one of the top-ranked quarterbacks in the transfer portal. This puts Oklahoma in a weird spot now because if Caleb Williams enters the transfer portal, the Sooners may need to turn to freshman Ralph Rucker, who beat out Micah Bowens, Ben Harris, and Karsten Gruss for the third string role. Riley spoke on Rucker's earlier this year saying he separated himself from the rest of the group right there and, and pretty clearly established himself as our third guy. So he's done a nice job. You know, he didn't have spring ball, but he's done a good job coming in and learning our stuff and just played a little bit more consistently than those other guys he was competing with. So, as always, the competition will evolve and continue, but that'll be our starting point for this season. The new coach could also go into the transfer portal and bring in someone else as well. But what do you think? Where will Spencer Rattler transfer? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other videos right here. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.